hello again and I'm back with another video and today I am making some coasters with some more flowers that I dried from my garden. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous flowers and they're a little bit bigger so they were too big for bookmarks so I decided to make some coasters. So as you can see there I have my four irregular shaped moulds in front of me and I've just mixed up some creamy um, resin and I'm just pouring that into half of the mold and then in the other half I'm going to tip some clear and I made that colour using white and brown pigment pastes from resin 8 so as it got to the bottom there was a little bit of brown left so it sort of gave a marbly woody effect so I just sort of like mixed it in as I moved it to where I wanted it in the coaster as you can see me doing there and yeah in the other half I'm just tipping some clear um, this is um, I think I did 30 mil of resin for each coaster so no sorry I did 15 mil of resin for each coaster because I only, only wanted a thin layer so I mixed up enough so I had enough for each and then I'll just manipulate that clear around so it touches the cream and then I will start adding the decorations so yeah I just only wanted them to touch for now because obviously I don't want the cream to overtake in the clear part because then you're not necessarily going to see all the flower on that. Um, it is only one flower I'm adding into the centre of each, not multiple. And just a hole there just to fill and then you can see I'm just zigzagging where they join so it doesn't push them together and either side too much and it also make sure all the resin is touching and there is no gaps right there because it closes it up and I'm just getting a bit of tissue so I can wipe my lolly stick so I can use it again just quickly over the centre with my clicky lighter and then move everything out the way and just getting my flowers as you can see there and then just carefully place them into the centre of the clear on each part Obviously, some of them are a little bit bigger than others, so I like made sure I put them in the right bit because the amount of clear that was still remaining because the cream started to creep over. Now, the thing I found with actually drying the flowers this way, like I did if you watched my previous video where I first dried the little ones that I put in the bookmarks I made, they sort of do stay a bit more 3D, -y, if you know what I mean. They're not entirely flat like they would if you would press them. So I might have to look at drying them for so long and then seeing if I can carry on drying them by pressing them. Not sure if that's possible but it's something I will research and look into because some of the petals you can see me gently pushing and adding a little bit more resin that I scraped out the bottom of the cup to try and get the petals to lay as flat as possible so I don't have to put a thick layer of clear over them. so yeah so I will have to look into that that particular one I'm on now that top coaster there that petal was a right pain and just kept popping back up where the others sort of like when I manipulated them under the resin they decided you know yeah we'll stay here for you we'll just stay nice and stuck so yeah but that's that and then um, because I wanted a bit more, you know, 
added to this I then added some uh, pieces of gold foil flakes I'm just moving them all around and adding them to them so I'm going to stop waffling now and speed this bit up because I feel like I've been talking for far too long and I can just let you watch what I'm doing Okay, so I'm just finishing off by spritzing with some um, isopropyl alcohol. I don't want to use my clicky lighter because I don't want to burn the flowers. And then I'm just going to leave this to dry. So now it's completely dry. I'm going to be adding a very subtle sparkle top coat. So I've mixed that there. I've let that sit. And I'm just going to add that to the top of each. Hopefully I've got enough so it covers the parts of the flower that is still sticking up. And yeah, once I've done that, I'm just going to leave that to dry. And then they'll be ready to unmould. Okay, they are completely done. They look absolutely gorgeous and are ready to unmould. That subtle sparkle finish is absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't take away from the colour of the flower or the pigment, you know, the, the split colour or the foil. It just adds that bit of extra pin to them. I can't think of the word, but they look absolutely gorgeous. All I'm going to do is just finish the top um, rim with some gold. I'm not going to completely colour in... The sides of the coasters just the top of them just to finish them off add some rubber feet so they protect any surfaces that they are on and don't slip and they will be available soon on my website as always thanks for watching until next time bye